What's up, football fans? Kevin Smith with you doing another call sheet short. And today our topic is why Eagles fans should be excited about Kellen Moore as their new offensive coordinator. Moore brought on board to to sort of juice up an Eagles offense that faltered in 2023. Let's talk about Moore's strengths and the weaknesses of Philly's offense last season. One of the biggest weaknesses of that offense, predictability. The Eagles lined up all uh, more in more spread sets than any team in the NFL last year. And when they did, they were very static. They had one of the lowest percentages of pre-snap motion in the league. So what's that mean? Philly got on the ball. They got set. They snapped the football. They didn't provide a lot of stress on the defense pre-snap. Kellen Moore will do that. His offense in Los Angeles with the Chargers last year had the fifth highest frequency of pre-snap motion. Now pre-snap motion in and of itself doesn't necessarily provide a benefit for the offense, but when you use it to stress a defense by getting them out of their run fits, forcing them to communicate adjustments, changing their coverage, fit the run on the fly, get out leveraged if they don't adjust properly. There's tons of benefits to that pre-snap movement that Philadelphia did not take advantage of last season. So from that perspective, I think the Eagles offense will be more diverse. Here's another thing. Moore will like to get under center, and when he does so, he likes to use play action. This is something the Eagles didn't do last year. Philadelphia, when they got under center last year, they threw the ball just 4% of the time. In Los Angeles, Moore's frequency was more around 30%. I mean, most people know that like when you get under center, you're probably going to run the football, but a 70-30 split, that's a lot less predictable than a 96-4 split, like what Philly had last season. A big thing the Eagles couldn't do last year as well, they couldn't handle the blitz. And Moore's offense is equipped to do that. Four out of the last five seasons, whether in Dallas or in Los Angeles, Moore's offense has been top 10 in terms of its efficiency against the blitz. Why is that? Because Moore will teach his quarterback post-snap reads. That is something that Jalen Hurts in Philadelphia really suffered from last season, not being able to be very good after the snap. Philadelphia's offense was so RPO-based, so heavy on pre-snap recognition, lining up in those static sets, not motioning, letting Jalen Hurts look at the defense and then identify a defender that he wanted to read off of or identifying a pre-snap structure that was going to tell him where to go with the football that he never really got good at at being a post-snap quarterback. I mean, the NFL is all about what you do post-snap. So getting Jalen Hurts to progress from really being a college-level quarterback who relies a lot on pre-snap reads to a guy who can diagnose the complicated post-snap movement that defense defenses present you, that's the next step in his evolution. And Kellen Moore's results against the Blitz over the last five years tells you he's really good at developing his quarterbacks once the ball is snapped. The last thing I think you'll see in Philadelphia that'll be a big benefit for the Eagles is Moore will get the ball to his playmakers. He really knows how to target his playmakers. I mean, Philly, basically with A.J. Brown, I mean, they just threw him a lot of one-on-one balls. And with Devonta Smith, they ran him on a bunch of crossing routes and and handed him the ball in some jet sweeps. I think you'll see much more creative schemes designed to free up those guys. One thing in particular, a lot of use of, of trips and quad sets. That'll actually put Brown on the backside of those sets and get him in better one-on-one matchups than he was in last year in Philadelphia. So whether it's the creativity, the diversity of the offense, uh, better use of play action, development of Jalen Hurts, isolation of star players, and, and more of an attempt to get them the ball, I think you will see a much better offense in Philadelphia in 2024. So for those reasons, Eagles fans, you should be excited about Kellen Moore as your offensive coordinator. All right. This is Kevin Smith with another call sheet short. I'll talk to everybody soon.